And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Hopefully you're all doing well. I'm meteorologist Sheldon Bashir is checking in with a quick look. As you can see, some low-level clouds, not significant limited visibility in downtown Amarillo here at the time of recording just before the 5 o'clock hour this morning. But the po possibility of patchy fog around the region is something we're expecting for this morning. At the time of recording, seeing 5 miles of visibility in Amarillo, Tulia, and Clovis, mainly focusing on that southern end of the area, much like what we saw for your Monday morning. Saw a little bit of fog out there. Probably going to see more of that as we go throughout the day today in those same places. But of course, once the sun comes up, you can expect things to clear off. We're not seeing the same cloud cover out there so far here in the overnight period, but that's allowing those temperatures to really stabilize. That air is going to saturate. That's where that fog is coming from. So let's look at your fog forecast here. As you can see, going into about the 8 o'clock hour this morning, could see some patchy fog right around sunrise. You'll see it down around Lubbock, Plainview, down close to the Portales region. We're going to watch for that as we go throughout the day. Of course, it clears out by the midday hours, and then we might see another round going into your Wednesday morning, so might see some more patchy fog there as well. But in the meantime, temperatures and winds for your Tuesday today expected to be very seasonal for this time of year, a touch above normal. We're going to hit our normal highs for the day this time of year right around lunchtime today. About 62 here in Amarillo. You'll see some high 50s lingering in the cooler parts of the region. About 68 for your high today. You'll see a few low 70s scattered around as well. So basically take your Monday forecast, add a few degrees on, and that's what you're going to end up with for today. Of course, dropping into the 50s by this evening. One of the big changes, unfortunately, though, with the forecast are these winds. They are going to be picking up a little bit as we go throughout the day, talking maybe 10 to 20 mile an hour winds out of the southwest. So that's going to be a dry air that's going to aid in kind of getting some of that fog on out of here. Still expecting partly cloudy skies, though, but maybe just not to the same extent as Monday. So looking at your next weather maker, we're looking at a seasonal cool down. We are going to see a warming trend through Thursday, but then on Thursday into Friday, we're going to see a cold front push through the region. Unfortunately, this cold front looks to be on the drier end of the spectrum, not really seeing any moisture chances with this one, but it will drop us down into the 60s. It'll get those overnight lows down into the 30s and 40s, which like I said, keep in mind, 62 is our normal high for this time of year. But looking at your seven day supercast, there's a lot of things to unpack here. So early morning fog today and tomorrow, we're going to see 60s getting up into the 70s as we go on into the middle to late parts of next week. 60s as you head on into Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 61 on Friday. So that's going to get us right to where we should be for this time of year. And then possibly starting as late as Sunday night could start to see some scattered shower chances. Pretty stout cold front rolls through Sunday into Monday of next week brings in a 20% chance of showers and does drop those highs down into the 50s. So just a little bit cooler there, but hopefully holding out hope for some rain chances here as we continue to go throughout this mostly dry week so far.